Hello and welcome to the Picket Fence Studios YouTube channel. My name is Terry and today I will be sharing a card that I created using some products from the July 2022 release. So let's get started. Okay, so the stamp set that I will be using today is called a sunflower. But if you guys haven't catched the release, there's also another flower stamp that's gorgeous and it's called a mum and i love these two flower stamps but for today's card i am only using the sunflower stamp so to start off my card i am going in with white cardstock and i placed a sunflower stamp on the bottom left hand corner now going in with our black hybrid ink i went ahead and stamped that onto the sunflower this stamp is just great. It works with so many different mediums, and I love it when I'm using it for ink blending or for Copic markers. So after I stamped that down to the white cardstock, I went ahead and stamped it onto masking paper and fussy cut that off screen. I went ahead and applied that over the stamp image. Now rotating the cardstock, I went back in with the sunflower stamp and used the same black ink to stamp that onto the cardstock. And I repeated the process by stamping it down on masking paper, fussy cutting it out with my scissors, and then placing that over the stamp image. So the reason why I'm stamping it onto masking paper is because I'm going to use it to block off the sunflower image. So the technique that I will be using today on this card is called a negative spotlight technique. So with the spotlight technique, you're pretty much highlighting a portion of your card panel. Most of the time you will see a card with a positive image colored in and the negative space is not colored in, leaving a highlight effect. So for this card here, I'm doing the opposite, coloring the negative spaces and I'm leaving the positive space white just to create a different focal point. So what the masking paper is going to do is it's going to block off all of the ink blending that we will do to create the negative spotlight technique. So now that all three sunflowers are stamped on the cardstock and each sunflower is masked off with masking paper, I went in using my blending brush and a few colored inks. You can use any color inks here, but I decided to go with a rainbow color palette. So going in with some pink shades and some yellow, as well as some green, blue, and purple. My trick to ink blending is making sure that your ink pad is nice and juicy. Otherwise, you're not going to get the color results that you want. Okay, so now I'm going in with a blue shade. Every time I change the color of my inks, I wanna make sure that I'm blending between the two colors very well. So you wanna go back and forth between colors. So here you can see that I'm going back into yellow and then going back into blue. And now that I'm on purple, I'm going in between the two, purple and blue. You don't have to worry about blending over the sunflowers since they're masked. With the negative spotlight treatment, we don't want any colors on the sunflowers, just the background. So now going in with some gold paint, I went ahead and splattered that throughout my card panel. Then I went in with some white paint and applied that onto my acrylic block and splattered that onto my card panel as well. I love adding splatters onto my card panel because you're not really doing too much, but it creates so much drama. And I think this is the best part, removing the masking paper. So as you can see that once you remove the masking paper, the sunflower images are nice and clean. This is what creates the spotlight technique. Sometimes when the masking paper is a little damp, it's a little hard to remove it off of your cardstock, but just be a little gentle and peel it off slowly and you should be fine. And look how great this looks. I just love this technique, it's so simple. Okay, so for the sentiment, I decided to go in with one of the stamps from Baby Butterfly Beauties. And I love this stamp because the sentiments are so great. There are so many different options, but the one that I chose says, Your happiness brings us joy. I mean, who doesn't want to receive a card that says that? It would make my day. So I am going to be heat embossing this in white. So I went ahead and stamped that down onto black cardstock with a clear embossing ink. I also used an anti-static powder tool beforehand just to make sure that there aren't any unwanted embossing powders onto my sentiment area. 
Then going in with my heat tool, I want to make sure that it's nice and hot, and I use that to melt the sentiment down. When I'm heat setting my sentiments or whatever I'm heat setting, I like to move the heat tool from behind the paper as well as in front, just to prevent any kind of warping. Now going in with the coordinating dies, and I love that it comes with the coordinating dies for the sentiment. I ran that through my die cutting machine. And now it's time to assemble everything together. So for my card panel, I wanted to trim it down a little bit. And I also trimmed down a black cardstock just to create a mat against my card panel. So here you can see the card panel against the black matted cardstock. So what I did was I just trimmed the black cardstock a little bit larger than my card panel. Now going in with liquid adhesive, I went ahead and applied that to the back of the card panel and adhered it onto the black cardstock. I just love the look of a black matted cardstock behind your card panel. It just creates such a nice clean look. Okay, so before we add the sentiment onto the card panel, I did use the coordinating dies and die cut that out of black cardstock a few times. And what I did was I layered that on top of one another with liquid adhesive just to create some sort of dimension onto the sentiment. So here I'm just trying to figure out if I wanted the card to be a top folding card or a side folding card. So I'm just moving the sentiment around to see which areas looks best. And I thought that the sentiment here would highlight all of the sunflowers and the blended background nicely. So I went ahead and adhered that onto the card panel with liquid adhesive. Okay, now I went ahead and adhered the final card panel down onto a top folding card base. I am using liquid adhesive to adhere the two together. Okay, and to finish off the card panel, I went in with some sequins. This one is from the new release, and this one is called Yellow Bottle Cap Flowers, and it is such a beautiful sequin mix, but I decided to only stick with the lighter shade of sequins in here, only because I didn't want to take away from the simplicity of this card panel. But this sequence mix is just perfect for a shaker card. So if you're interested in making shakers, the new sequence that just came out are beautiful. I would definitely recommend it. So then going in with my liquid adhesive, I went in and here that onto the card panel. And this pretty much completes the card. I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and I hope you give the spotlight technique a try, whether it's the positive or the negative version. And don't forget to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.